hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you liked this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So, and let's get to it, y'all. And let's get to it. First, I want to say happy Wednesday. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Please stay safe and all that good stuff. Please stay aware of your surroundings. And please, y'all, watch the company that you keep because it just may save your life or keep you out of trouble. Okay, y'all? So, let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. So, I want to jump into this Dolph stuff, y'all, because something been weighing on me. And y'all know my day ones, twos, and threes. When something start weighing on me, I got to get it out or I just be restless. Like, you know what I'm saying? I get that little um, shake or something until I get it out. So, something is telling me to go back. Go back to everything. Okay, when it first started, when Dolph got there, on his way there, all of that stuff. Because there is something that's telling me that all of this is a connection. Okay, now, I tried to close my eyes for a second, and I just was seeing visions of stuff. And I was seeing visions of people. So, I'm going to tell y'all who the three people that I was seeing. So, first off, I was seeing um, Big Moochie Grape, y'all. I was seeing Big Moochie Grape. And not only was I seeing Big Moochie Grape, I was seeing um, Marcus Thornton, who is Dolph's brother. And I was also seeing Maurice Hill. Okay, y'all? And something is telling me, you know, I'm just going to say allegedly, because this is my personal opinion, okay, from what I am seeing. All of three of them are were working together. This is what I'm seeing, y'all. Okay? I'm going to just say allegedly. But... It adds up. A lot of stuff is starting to add up. And a lot of stuff that people have put out and the stories that people put out and the things that happen and this and that and this, I know it says differently, but it's always a lot of smoke and mirrors when it comes down to um, people being taken out and people lining them up, especially when a lot of people is involved. Okay, y'all? Now, one thing about this whole Dolph case is a lot of stuff we wouldn't have known if it wasn't for raven raven has been running her mouth ever since it started and i want y'all to pay attention to the fact that every time she run on somebody's page she only go on pages where um you know that they, they controls everything okay and everything is in her favor to try to make her seem like she's innocent okay if you come out lying the way she has lied ever since Dolph has been taken out that she has been caught up in several different lies okay if you come out in that way Nine times out of ten, you played a major part. Okay, y'all? She played a major part. She has an artist that wasn't do kicking it with CMG members after Dolph taken out. Her artist is kicking it with CMG members, partying with them. Her family was never the type of people that did business with CMG members. As soon as Dolph was taken out, she is at Big Jukes. Her family is at Big Jukes Smoke Shop. And... They're all doing business together and they're kicking it together as if they was old friends. Okay, y'all? And that's don't forget about, you know, Raven went to, you know, allegedly black youngsters house and party with them in another city and state. Word on the street. Okay, we're not going to forget about that either. All right. And they try to cover that up as well and make it seem like, oh, she went to see somebody else. Benzino, somebody they said, okay? How, what's she doing knowing Benzino? I'm just saying, y'all, okay? It's a lot of lies that's been being told from the start. Now, I, something is telling me to go back to when Dolph came into Memphis. When Dolph came into Memphis, that Dolph came into Memphis with Big Moochie Grape, y'all, okay? And I want y'all to pay attention to something because it seemed like him and Big Moochie Grape had some stuff going on from the time that they was coming in to when Big Moochie Grape was leaving, there were some kind of deals being made or business that was taking place between Dolph and Big Moochie Grape that we don't know about. Big Moochie Grape is not telling us everything about what went on with him and Dolph. And I think that he didn't change the story around a lot. He said that Dolph did not know that, um, 
I mean, he did not know Dolph was on a plane with him and all of that stuff. I think that's a lie. I think that they purposely came to Memphis together. I think that they were taking care of some transactions on the outside of that. And I think that Dolph trusted Big Moochie Grape to a point where the reason why I think he trusted him is because of his connections. He had a family member that was dating a police officer. And Dolph couldn't trust too many police. Okay, a lot of people were on um, Yo Gotti's payroll, allegedly. So, it would make sense that um, Dolph would kind of steer toward Big Moochie Grape because he had a little connection with the police station, somebody that was a police officer. And I want you to also pay attention that when Dolph got taken out, the same police officer called Big Moochie Grape. This is what he said. And he told him, I'm going to tell you what really happened. So, how would you know what really happened? How would you know what really happened? If you wasn't there, and if you didn't have one of your buddies that was planted at the police, I mean, at the, um, I'm just saying, at the cookie shop, okay? Because I want y'all to remember, Raven, when she first started running her mouth, she said that when um Maurice Hill pulled up, and he was parked backing into his parking spot, he said, as Mar she said, as Maurice was backing into his parking spot, she said that this is when the hitters, the suspects, was spreading off. And she also said that Maurice told her that it was a police car on the scene already. Okay, y'all? So, was this the guy that was connected to a Big Moochie Grape? Or was this guy one of his guys? Okay? Because it could have, it would have been too obvious for this guy to show up. But it wouldn't have been if one of his boys came. Okay? Because they said it was somebody already on the scene. Now, that makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. Another thing that don't make no sense about this whole situation is when Dolph came up missing. Okay. They said that Dolph was missing between the 15th and the 17th. This is what they said. They said after he left the cookie shop, people didn't know where Dolph was from one place to another. They didn't know what was going on with him. Okay, y'all. And I want y'all to pay attention to those females had just got hit up in Covington right before Dolph, I'm just saying, y'all, got taken out. They had just got hit up prior. And word on the street is it's starting to make sense now because the females that got hit up a, a week or so before Dolph got there or days before Dolph got there, um, allegedly, they're saying that this was your Gotti's baby mom. Okay? Word on the street. And they're also saying that Dolph has a baby by one of your Gotti's baby mamas i don't know if it's true or not but this is word on the street okay this is what they're saying it's starting to all make sense it's everything is starting to come clear now of why things went down the way they went down okay um i want you to pay attention to the fact that every time that Dolph was supposed to show up to do something with big moochie grape it was so it was so suspect OK, he was supposed to he claimed that he was going to the turkey drive with Big Moochie Grape and word on the street. He never showed up. Now, mind you, this turkey drive that he was supposed to do with Big Moochie Grape was supposed to be at a police station. Y'all word on the street. It was at a police station. Had something to do with police. OK, Dolph didn't show up allegedly. OK, now they're saying the next day on the 16th, Dolph did not show up to the next person's turkey draft either okay now only thing that we know that they're saying that look like it's a lot of edited stuff it looked like Dolph is, is is worried about something um the only two places extra that they said that Dolph had showed up to that day was they said the hotel or something about a hotel okay and that look edited okay it looked like that was staged and they also have Dolph They also have Dolph at um, the restaurant on the 16th. Okay, y'all? That has the same clothes on the, day, the next day. That, and everybody say Dolph wasn't that type of person to wear the same clothes the, the next day. But he had on those same clothes from the 16th to the 17th. Okay, y'all? Which make you wonder what really happened to Dolph. Okay? Now, I want y'all to also pay attention to that big moochie grape, y'all. Big moochie grape. Claimed that he met Dolph on the 16th at an undisclosed place. Why is it undisclosed? Why is every time that Dolph had anything to do with you, he was MIA? Nobody else knew about it but you and him. Which tells you something else was going on with Big Moochie Grape 
and with Dolph. Now, the only other person that was with allegedly Dolph on the 16th that we know of was his brother. Okay? Who's quiet as a mouse, y'all. He ain't saying a thing to nobody or nothing. Which don't make no sense if you were so upset and hidden at the car. But everybody, there's witnesses, says that he was hidden in the air. Not really even at the car. All of this seems like they were all connected, y'all. Every one of these people was connected. Big Moochie Grape, a lot of answers to questions that you need to answer right now. A lot. There's so many things that has holes in it that don't make no sense. And he's gone now. So why is everything undisclosed place? And this and that net this. Was Dolph doing any kind of transactions with Big Moochie Grape? Or I want y'all to pay attention to something else that was being told on social media about Dolph. They said that one of his kids was on the scene that day. Okay, that Dolph got hit up. We don't know if it's true because they had all camera footage and this and that and this. They ain't showing us nothing. Okay, but in the stuff that they are showing us is smoke and mirrors because they showed Dolph at a gas station. Okay, and then we found out that that was the day before. The, when they showed the gas station scene, that was the day before, y'all. Okay, and that was not the same day that he was taken out, but he still had on that same outfit from when he got taken out. Okay, y'all. So it goes to show you that something went on between the 15th and the 16th with Dolph and whatever it was it has big moochie grape name written all over it and he's holding back some stuff okay I'm telling y'all I have to get this out I'm gonna say allegedly but I you know when I think about big moochie grape I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all I think about Tupac's situation Tupac's situation everything seemed like it was smoking mirrors to get Tupac out the way okay Somebody snatches his friend chain, and then the person that snatches his chain mysteriously shows up at Mike Tyson fight. I want y'all to pay attention to the pattern, okay? He shows up to the Mike Tyson fight, and he didn't even, he drives all the way to another city and state to go see the Mike Tyson fight, but he watches the fight in the lobby on the TV when he could have stayed at home and watched it on the TV and just ordered the, the fight. It makes no sense, y'all. It seemed like it was all a plant. And then Big Suge, what Suge Knight, he called himself was, you know, going to, um, Suge called himself was, you know, um, inviting a whole bunch of street associates to the fight. But for what? If they wasn't there for protection, why did you invite all of these people? How do you invite all of these people, hundreds of people that he paid tickets for? Okay, just wasting money to have all his whole crew there. Okay, they say he had a whole bunch of people there at the fight. Okay, Mike Tyson fight. But nobody protected Tupac that night how do all of these goons come and nobody's on Tupac to protect his life it makes no sense nobody's around you to protect your life how do some guys pull up to your car and only hit Tupac I'm just saying y'all how please tell me okay a lot of stuff is not adding up a lot of stuff is not adding up and at the same time everything that happened to Mo3 everything that kind of happened to just Tupac is similar to what happened to Dolph as if they copied everything. Okay, y'all? Just pay attention to Big Moochie Grape. His chain was taken. Right, y'all? Or was it given away? I'm just saying, y'all. Okay? And I, I think he got hit up, too, during the time that his chain was taken. But they try to make stuff look, I'm just saying, a certain way so people can believe some things as well. I don't know where he got hit up. I could be tripping. But this is what's coming to me right now, y'all. And I want y'all to think about Mo3 had a police lady that was in his inner circle. Okay, y'all? And Big Moochie Grape has a police that was in his inner circle. Okay, y'all? And it wasn't Mo3's inner circle. It was his Mo3's ops inner circle. Okay? And I want you to pay attention to how people planted themselves around Mo3. That he called himself was helping, but they were connected to his ops. Number seven, Don Don, okay? I want you to pay attention to the same thing that Dolph did. He had people around him as well, okay? That was, I'm just saying, y'all, stuff they were doing was questionable. And if you cared about Dolph so much, why is there holes in your story? A lot of stuff don't make no sense, okay? It seems like Dolph was doing some maybe illegal stuff with you, or he was getting blackmailed. And you knew of the play. It was something that was going on. Now, like I said, they claim 
These were rumors that was going around that one of Dolph's children, okay, was being used so they, they can get what they wanted out of Dolph, okay? I want y'all to pay all of this some attention because it makes sense now to who all probably was working together, okay, y'all? Big Moochie Great seemed like he's not telling us everything. He know more than he's saying, okay? Another person that's quiet as a mouse right now is his brother, and a lot of stuff don't make sense about his brother. Because Pamela Hill, which we know we didn't call her in a couple of lies. First they said he came in there to get three cookies and some and, and something else. Um, chocolate chip cookies. Then the Pamela said he was coming to get some cookies for his mama. Remember that, y'all? Three um, strawberries and three lemon cookies. I need y'all to just be quiet and don't say nothing. You remember Pamela Hill was giving out warnings telling people don't talk after the whole situation went down. A lot of stuff ain't adding up with her either. Now, she said, this is what Pamela Hill said, y'all. She said that Dolph and his brother was over there in that corner. Okay, y'all? Now, something that's very important, and I'm going to just tell y'all this. I think somebody important, not important, important, but important to Dolph, maybe, call him. And I... I I, I, could, I just got a feeling that the person that called him was Bebe. I don't know why. But I have a feeling that Bebe called him. And this is why he walked over there to the side to, to talk about something that he didn't want to talk about in front of the cashiers and stuff. Okay. In one way, I feel like that's how something went. Then again, we have this other story that's coming up. Okay. Because I, I this other story that's coming up, this guy, I think he's like Hispanic or something. He came forward and he said that Dolph did not come there for no cookies. Dolph came there so he can take care of some business so that they could do a turkey drive in the parking lot. Okay, now, if that's the truth, then was Dolph over there sitting down talking to somebody over there by that window, which I said this a long time ago, my day ones, twos, and threes. No, I said this. If Dolph was sitting down with his back faced, you know, toward the window, he wouldn't have saw those guys coming up. And remember, I told y'all that they moved those stickers and pictures on the, around the window around because I think that they wanted to put the chair right where one of the, the stickers was, the pictures was on the window. So this is where that the hitters would hit up that spot in that window because that's where they was going to have Dolph sitting at. Now, the thing that gets me is I still believe that the first hit came from the inside. Now, if Pamela Hill says that Dolph's brother was over there in that corner and they were the only two that was over there in the corner, number one, why didn't the brother get hit too? Okay, that's number one. Number two, did the brother take the first hit at Dolph and Dolph? It makes sense because after the brother was facing Dolph, okay, and Dolph was sitting down or whatever it is, and he had to have been sitting down. He couldn't have been standing up, not in fall through that window. If he was sitting down and somebody hit him with something real hard, that would knock him into that window in that and, and be laying in that angle of that way. And then that would set it off for the other guys to run to the window and to do the rest and make it look like from the outside that it came from them when it actually came from the inside. Okay, a lot of a lot of people feel like the brother took the first and, I, and it ain't nothing far fetched. Now, people can't say, oh, this is you tripping that a lot of people have been set up by somebody that in their family. You can't tell me that in this big old world that a lot of people don't have family members that's jealous of them. That don't want to see them do good. They don't. OK, this is why, you know, a lot of families don't get along. This and that and, that and this. Because they have family members that's jealous. And you know when you have a family member, when you have on something new and they just look at you and don't say, oh, that look nice. They just look you up and down and don't even say, that's, that's cute what you got on. Okay? When you have somebody like that, they're jealous of you. And you have to watch out for people like that, y'all. You do. Um, and I said this, I said this way back when. Duff brother seemed like there was some jealousy there. Dolph was getting really, really close to Key Glock. He was going places, doing everything with Key Glock. Key Glock was shining and stuff, just like Dolph was shining. His brother wasn't shining like him. His brother had a little tiny pre-chain. Little bitty old tiny pre-chain, y'all. Blank your eye, you wouldn't see it. Okay, y'all? But Key Glock and other members of Pre, they were balling. Y'all don't think that his brother would sit back and be like, man, I'm your brother and I'm not balling like that. Look how his brother was dressed at the, the cancer center place. Think about it. He was dressed 
just regular old Mo, okay, at the Cancer Center place. He wasn't flashy at all, okay, y'all? As if his wardrobe was suffering, y'all. I'm just saying, there was some type of animosity going on. But let's get to the facts. Let's get to the facts. Now, Raven said that, Amari said that as soon as he backed into the parking lot, the people sped off. And when he got out the car, he went to the window and he seen Dolph's brother, okay, banging on the window. Now, y'all tell me if I'm wrong. Why would somebody be banging on the window instead of just coming on out? And I'm going to tell y'all this. We saw pictures of him running after a car. Now, who let him out? To, who let him out? If he was standing right next to Dolph when Dolph got taken out, who buzzed him out to get out of the cookie shop? Because they said you have to get buzzed out. Who buzzed him out? And if he went out and hit at the car and then went back in because he had to go back in because Maurice, because Raven made a mistake and said that Maurice said that stay, stay, stay with me, Dolph. Stay with me, brother. Okay. And she said she made a mistake. It wasn't her daddy. So all of a sudden, she forgot how her daddy sound. She didn't know his voice. Okay? All of a sudden. It's so much stuff that she just keep on changing. Oh, we made a mistake about this. The news lady said this, and I have to correct her on that. The this, the that. It's so much correcting, correcting, correcting going on when it comes to Raven. Okay, y'all? And I want y'all to pay attention that she said it wasn't Maurice. So it was somebody that was right next to Maurice because she was on the phone with Maurice and she heard it. Now, if it wasn't Maurice that was saying, stay with me, brother, was it his brother? Was it all a play? Was he sitting there right next to Maurice taking off his jewelry or whatever they claimed that he was doing? Setting the play up in the stage up and getting their stuff together? Because that's what it seemed like, y'all. And if that's the case, who buzzed him back in to get back to Dolph? Because Maurice said that he was banging on the window from the inside. So apparently he ran out there, hit at that car, ran back in the cookie shop. Who let him back in? Who was buzzing Maurice in and out of the door? Ask yourself this question. If he wasn't a part of the play, how could he chase a car? Then get back in there to Dolph to, 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 to shake him. They said that he was the one that was shaking Dolph, telling him to wake up or whatever. Okay, y'all? He was sitting right next to Maurice when he was on the phone with Raven. This is what she said, y'all. A lot of stuff is just not adding up, y'all. It's not adding up at all. But the things that do add up... It seems as if all of them was working together, y'all. And we got to talk about this brother for a second. Let's break down his brother for one second, okay? All right? Because for some reason, all of a sudden, Raven couldn't tell um, Maurice Thornton's voice from Maurice Hill. Marcus Th Thornton voice from Marcus Hill's voice. She couldn't tell the difference, okay? All of a sudden, she forgot how her daddy sounded. All right, y'all. Now, let's talk about the brother. The brother was with Dolph, allegedly, at Ruth Chris. Right, y'all? Now, I'm going to tell y'all this. A lot of people were saying, why would Dolph brother, why would he have his brother with him as security and not have actually security? Now, I want y'all to think about something. Because if it is true what they're saying about they were using one of Dolph's kids as leverage, to extort whatever they were trying to extort out of him. And I do believe that whoever had got Dolph, they was getting him to sign paperwork. I think they was getting him to sign some of his properties over to people and all kind of stuff to get his baby back. This is my opinion. Because Dolph had a lot of his hands tied in so much stuff. Properties, all kind of stuff. Okay, y'all? Now, the brother was with him at Ruth Chris, which makes sense. That if somebody got your one of your kids, you got your brother with you, okay? So you can run around and get money or whatever it is that you have to do or deeds or whatever that you have to sign over to somebody to get your baby back. It would make sense that the brother would be with you, okay, y'all? It would make all the sense in the world. Now, not only was the brother with him at Ruth Chris, the brother was with him at Makita's, Okay? The brother was with him in that corner over there in the store, in the cookie shop, that did not get hit at all. And it makes, none of it makes sense. If the brother didn't hit him up first, 
to set off the chain of events for the other guys on the outside to make it look like it was legit. And we don't know if it happened that morning or that night because people, there are witnesses saying that it happened that night. Okay, y'all? So I the, the day before, this is what they're saying. It happened the, the night before because the window was already hit up. So something is just not adding up and the brother too quiet for me, y'all. I'm just saying, okay? Um, Why was the brother beating on the window? Why was he beating on the window, y'all? When Maurice came. And then when Maurice came, he went over there to Dolph and started shaking Dolph and moving Dolph's body. Why would he move Dolph's body, y'all? Ask yourself this question. Something about this brother don't make no sense. People saying that he was he's hidden with something huge that would have lit that car up. Nobody in the car got hit. Nobody. And there's a witness saying that he was hidden up in the air. So it makes sense that they were all working together. This is why a lot of stuff is not adding up, y'all. This is why people are quiet. And I just do believe that this was tied in the same way. A lot of stuff that was going on. Same thing that happened with Mo 3. The first person. The first person, y'all. Something just fell in my office. If y'all heard that, something just fell. They've been sitting up there for months. It just fell. So it's, it's some weird stuff going on. Like I told y'all, like I had to get this out to y'all. And I'm feeling better now about it. So now something just fell. And I was like, okay. And it just fell and stood up, y'all. I kid y'all not. Um, and I even, it doesn't scare me because I, I watch scary movies. But at the same time. I feel like a relief off my shoulder by getting this out. I don't know why. Okay, y'all. I had to get this out today. All right. Um, something ain't adding up, y'all. Something is not adding up. And then another thing that um Raven said, she said that it was a police car already there. So if it was a police car already there on the scene, then that police saw the brother hidden uh, allegedly at the white car speeding off. Okay. So why didn't they pull out something? And you know what I'm saying? When they got somebody that's running down the street, hitting at a car, and the police is on the scene, this is what Raven said that Maurice said, okay? Why didn't they hit at Maurice? I mean, at um, Marcus Thornton. Why? It just seemed like it was all staged. Everything was staged. Just like Nipsey passing was a stage. Just like King Von's passing was staged. It's a lot of stuff that's staged right now. And a lot of people that were out there or on the scene or around it. I want y'all to pay attention. When Nipsey got hit up, somebody got hit too. But was they a part of the play as well? You got to ask yourself this question. Was they a part of the play? When Tupac got hit up, allegedly, Suge got hit, right? And it's tripped out because somebody named Suge was in a car with Tupac. Same similar situation. And now there's a shug that's connected to Dolph stuff as well. Okay, y'all? It's a shug connected to that. Oh, I'm about to bring it to y'all in the, uh, the next video. Because I got the pictures for the next video. But it's a lot of stuff that connects all three of these people, y'all. That don't make no sense, y'all. Maurice's story is not adding up. How in the world can you be backing up into a park and seeing a car sped off. And at the same time, you get out your car to go to the door. And Dolph Brothers are banging on the window when we know. Dolph's brother was allegedly hitting at the car. This is what the footage showed us. So a lot of this footage that we are being showed, is it even real, y'all? Is it all staged, y'all? Ask yourself this question. It's a lot of stuff that's just not adding up. It's not. Who was at the buzz of just buzzing Dolph's brother in and out so he could come in and out of the cookie shop. They let him get out of the cookie shop, go chase the car, and then let him come back in, go over there and walk around the scene. The police let Dolph's brother all over the crime scene. He, You mean to tell me there was a police on the scene and he let Dolph brother, let y'all let Dolph brother back in and out of the cookie shop and he did nothing about him chasing the car down. He did nothing about him walking over there on the scene, touching Dolph's body. Something ain't adding up, y'all. And it's looking like 
they all played a major part. And I'm telling y'all this. I'm telling y'all this. Um, nobody would know half of the stuff and nobody would be suspicious of the majority of the stuff that they're suspicious about if it wasn't for Raven. I kid y'all not, y'all. If it wasn't for her, nobody would know a lot of stuff. And I want y'all to remember, I'm going to leave y'all with this until I get to the next video. But I also want y'all to remember the fact, okay, that she did a video with 901, Trick or Trey, whatever his name, okay. She did a video with him and she was showing that a man was sitting down in a chair, okay. And she was making it look as if this is how they did Dolph in that cookie shop. Okay, y'all. And then she want people to feel sorry for her now. When you mocked Dolph's passing in that video that y'all made. Not only did you mock him, but you also put in a blogger that's been defending you ever since this stuff started. Ever since this stuff started. she was, This blogger has been defending her. And everything that all the holes that's in her stories, he act like they don't exist. Say no to brain cells, okay? And I want you to pay attention to now that so now that say no to brain cells is sending shout outs and other people is sending shout outs to say no to brain cells right now. Which makes you wonder what the heck is really going on right now, okay, y'all? I want y'all to pay attention to how the tides is changing right now. How is you sending out shouts? And you people can get mad if they want to. I don't care. But how do you send out shouts to say no to brain cells when he has been defending everything? Everything that Dolph, you know, everything. He's calling people police, all kind of stuff. This is what say no to brain cells is doing. How can you be for Dolph, for justice for Dolph, for justice for Mo 3, but you everybody that's trying to figure out what's going on, you're saying, oh, y'all police. So if we police, what are you, sell out? Is that what you are? Because that's what it seemed like. You got a cookie in your name now. You getting paid off of protecting people that is in the mid, right slap dab in the middle of a crime. Y'all, it's so many connections that's connecting these dots that don't make any sense right now. And it's sad. It's so sad that she can get on social media and lie and talk about, they, people said my name ain't into nothing. My family ain't had nothing to do with this. My family ain't had nothing to do with that. Well, why, is the, why do everything y'all saying is a hole in the story? Nothing is making sense. You got two hitters that ran up on a window and Dolphin, his brother, was in that corner, and the brother didn't get hit. You got you got Raven saying that the only person who saw the hitters walking up to the window was the cashier. But the cousin, the brother, or uncle in the back, that was supposed to be in the back doing some cookies or whatever he was supposed to have been doing, he seemed like he was watching the cameras. He wasn't doing no cookies. He was watching the camera like he was waiting for the plate to get in motion. And he's the one that told everybody to get down. But was he warning Dolph or was he warning the workers to get out the way? It's about to go down. Because that's, that's what I get from it. I'm just saying, y'all. Something ain't adding up with this whole story. It's so many holes in it. And y'all, I'm going to tell y'all this. This Rico, you know, I, at first I was saying this Rico in Dallas is going to be bigger than the Rico in in, in in Memphis. And then I said this Rico in Memphis might be bigger. Than, but these Ricos may be in cahoot. These Ricos might go hand in hand, y'all. Okay, and the reason why I say this is because we got three major snitches right now. Three major snitches, in my personal opinion, that I think are major snitches. That's on the inside, that's giving up plays and telling some stuff. And people ain't even paying attention until it, they going in and then they're going to start paying attention. I said this in the first place. When Yellow got out of jail, I said he's a snitch. I said this, and I said people better be careful being around him because he probably got a wire on him. And he started going on tour, trying to, you know, other people try all their stuff, trying to pump him up and help him. But after he started going on tour and singing Mo three songs and all of this other stuff he was doing and trying to keep himself relevant because he's trash, um, people start 
all of trap people start going down. All of his people. Trap getting caught up. All kind of stuff. Look who's in jail now. Trap. Okay, y'all? His partner. That's why I say, why is everybody in jail but Yellow? And Yellow was in there just like Boosie was in there making a deal. He was in there. They was doing deals to get him up out of there. They did not want him to stay in there. And he was not going to be put with everybody else because he was scared. Plain point simple. He was scared to be with regular everybody else. While he was in there, he was being protected. And he had to give up somebody. That's why he, they kept saying, oh, he's out. And I was like, he ain't out yet, y'all. And people was telling me he ain't out. He's still in here. And they was, his family was posting on his social media and stuff saying that, oh, you know, trying to make it look as if he was the one posting it and it wasn't him. And he got out and he was looking like he lost weight and was sick. He was in there a day or so, y'all. And he acted like he was sick. I just disgusted sick, y'all. Like he lost some weight. He was just, he was crying. He like he had, you know, you, you saw the teardrops on dried up on his face. He was in there crying like a baby. I told y'all he was one of the snitches. My personal opinion. I'm just going to say that allegedly. Okay, y'all? The next snitch is four feet two duck. I told y'all he's a snitch. He had the pants on to prove it. He had police written on his pants when we went on concert. Okay? We y'all got it in Detroit, y'all. He's another one. He got out early. He been being favored. And a lot of people won't expect that from him. Because he been having problems with the police, allegedly. But now, word on the street is, I'm going to just say allegedly, he's working with them. This is why he got out early in the first place. And they went lenient on him. Okay, y'all? And it, it's, it's mighty funny he get out around this time when all heck break loose with, you know, I'm just saying, y'all. Big juke and all of this stuff. So he can report, y'all. My personal opinion. So I'm going to say allegedly. Okay? And the next big, big, huge, y'all, snitch right now is Shondale. Shondale has snitched his tail off. This is why he got the deal of the decade, okay? They claim he was on the run from Indiana. They didn't know where he was at. And then all of a sudden, when we did find out where he was at, he was back home in in Dallas, chilling with the um monitor on his leg, y'all, because he worked out a deal, y'all. And I told y'all, I heard this, so I'm going to say allegedly, because I wasn't there when he said it. But word on the street is, Shondell brought up Trap's name. And it makes sense, all the sense in the world. Because the same way they lined up Mo3, and everybody got paid, they did the same thing for Dolph. So everybody can get paid off of him too. Just why they went on and took their time that last time to line him up just right. So everybody got paid out of the deal. Everybody prospered off of it even the cookie shop they were drowning in debt okay y'all they were getting loans after loans after loans and to be honest with y'all it was smart in one way but it just put a little it, it still people that got some sense they put it together that 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 go me was set up for them to get paid off of that legit so that somebody wouldn't just pass them a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars and um help her artists out and then hook up her family members to be a part of CMG stuff, going to the smoke shop and all of this stuff. All of these were rewards, y'all. All of these were rewards. I want y'all to look at the rewards and how you have to follow the money. People that had sense, they was like, is they kidding me? You set up a GoFundMe and they wanted to set it up the same day Dolph passed, but they, they wait until the next day and set it up. But word on the street is they wanted to set it up the same day. They were so geekity geek. You saw how she was smiling out there talking to the news people. She was so happy that they were, that was their come up, y'all. So I want y'all to pay all of this stuff attention, okay? There's something to brewing right now, and it's serious. And you keep seeing the same bloggers, they know the brain cells, going back and forth with other bloggers and this and that and that and this, trying to act as if. You know, he just knows that they are innocent and he's just standing up to them ugh, 10 toes down, y'all. Okay, y'all? But he don't understand that when Shittaka hits the fan, they go, they, they looking at him too. They're looking at him too. Not only did you defend Rainwater, who paid for the movie with Mo3 Ops, 
that he passed away in calling themselves redoing the scene. Okay, y'all? He defended Rainwater the same way he defended her. And that's don't leave out the fact that there are so much similarities between Raven and Trap Boy. Word on the street, they could be some kin. I don't know. I don't know. But that's that's a rumor that's going around too. So y'all stay tuned for the next video because I'm about to break some more stuff down to y'all. Okay? I am about to break some more stuff down to y'all. <laughs> y'all, it's about to go down. Okay? Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you liked this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.